Hello, hello, we got two things we're gonna try today for these food review taste tests and another funky item. Stick around. Alright, so today we're gonna be trying Takis, guacamole, and Ritz. Spicy queso. So, we are not fans of Taki, neither one of us, but we do like guacamole, and this shows like jalapenos on the front, some cilantro, so we're going to try the Taki's now on the heat scale, it says it's pretty mild, and the flavors say corn flour, processed with lime, uh, vegetable oil, so, uh, a bunch of powders, onion, tomato, salt, citric acid, garlic powder. So, a bunch of uh, natural uh, powders for flavoring, natural flavors, spices, and then all your stuff to not make it go stale. So, dive right into these Takis. You're probably going to lose part of that bag because it's all green. Okay. All right. Hold on. Right down here. What do they look like in there? I smell it. A lot of people like Takis. They like the flavor of Takis. They got Taki suckers, Taki chips, Taki ice cream, Taki everything. I don't like it. But. I do like Taki guacamole. And that is a little spicy. The rolled chips are really cool. It's a lot of crunch. Definitely guacamole flavor there. I'm getting a lot of the flavor from the corn chip itself. I love how they have the little grill marks. And there is some spice there mm -hmm. from the jalapeno. Yeah. And I am getting the zing from the lime. Really in that order. I'm shocked. Guacamole first. A little bit of lime, and then the heat comes on. And then you get the after taste of the corn chip. Those are good. So, if you've tried Takis before, it's making my mouth feel like I'm about to gleek. <laughs> but, if you've tried Takis before and you didn't like them, go try their guacamole. These are, I would definitely buy these again. This is a good snack. All right, now these Ritz have come out with the cheese crispers. Um, you get a free. You got a little stamp, little coupon on the front. with free. Uh, but they came out with these cheese crispers a while a while ago, baked with real cheese. Maybe to compete with uh, Cheez-Its, I don't know. But it says here they have spicy queso, four cheese and cheddar. We've had the four cheese and cheddar before. Then they also make these bags of crisp and thins. Those are pretty good too. And this one says, cream cheese and onion and original toasted. But this is the spicy queso and I don't think, we've never had these, right? We had something jalapeno, but... A new flavor? Uh, no, Did we eat it? Did we already try it? We eat so many different new things, it's hard. And we still have three new kinds of... Um, so they just look, a, look like a thin wafer. Three new kinds of pork rinds are going to be eaten next. 
bag of it. Now you were always a what kind of cracker fan? Not rich, really. I mean, you'd get it for what? Cheese balls and stuff? But what would you get rich? You always got what? Townhouse? Townhouse. The club. It smells what like. that club for my dad? Yeah. Man, what does that smell like? Maybe cheddar, smoky cheddar. Mm. Tomato. Tomato and burnt cheese. That's what it tastes like. Tomato and burnt cheese. Are you getting spicy queso? Mm -hmm. They're not spicy. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're not really spicy. I'm not getting any heat level at all. I mean, there's a little jalapeno there, but flavor. Ingredients, potato flour, canola oil, Cheddar cheese, I'm getting cheddar cheese. Oat fiber, sugar, salt, yeast, onion powder, garlic powder, green bell pepper powder, tomato powder, I'm getting tomato, paprika. So the only heat in it is paprika extract, which I am getting that kind of a little bit of a paprika. So it's cheddar cheese and tomato, and that's what it tastes like. But I don't know where they're getting spicy queso. Queso's like a white cheese. It tastes a little pepper flavor in, but it's not spicy flavor. I, I, I would have called that spicy nacho or something. I don't know. Rich cheese crispers. A little bit of heat. These were the star tonight. The Taki guacamoles. This is close. This will be in my top ten at least. Maybe top five. I really enjoyed these. Doritos being number one. Alright, now we got a weird and crazy item. And we got a bunch of them. But tonight, we're going to talk about Theo the Frog. You guys know what this is? This is... Theo the Frog key holder. Made in Hillard, Ohio, USA, 1997. So not too old. But this is a ceramic mold. And uh, I don't know where we found this in some something we got we picked up along the way. And uh, thought it was cool enough to share with you guys. It's got these little rubber stoppers that lock into the rubber stoppers on the bottom. And this is shaped like a frog. You see, that'd be the top of the frog, inside out. This is the bottom of the frog, inside out. But they have a lot of different kinds of these. This Theo frog is a ceramic frog. They have a lot of like um, cast iron ones and concrete ones and plastic ones and whatever. But these are frogs that you hide in your flowers or garden or something and it holds the key so you put a little insert in there and then the hot the middle of the frog would be hollow or you can put a little container that unscrews in there and you would have room to put um, a key underneath your frog but this is a ceramic one so once this is all poured and fired that you can glaze it and the glazes they use are blues and greens and you can get online and see and see the different Theo the Frog uh, ceramic frogs that have been made um, so it's a little bit different than the cast iron and stuff because it's got this real shiny glaze on the back and it's a pretty cool frog and um, 
It's made by the Mako, M-A-Y-C-O, Mako Company. Uh, they do a lot of uh, glaze colors and ceramics. So they make a lot of different molds. This is just the one that we pulled, that we found in one of our things. And we, you never know, we may make Theo the Frog someday if we don't have this sold before we do it. But uh, go, go check out Theo the Frog and see some of the colors that he's been painted in. And we'll see you next time. With another food review and taste test with the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla, which is a long title, but short reviews. And we share some odd items, right? See you next time. Three kinds of pork rinds.